A lot of people underestimate how much people care about environmental sustainability. As an emergency medicine physician, I have treated people in this country who have been affected by the climate crisis. We did have the hottest summer ever last year in 2022, and we know now, looking at the statistics of that, there is about 3,000 excess deaths in those two weeks. It is all around us and is affecting our health right now. We've got a, a duty to solve the planet's issues now, and unless we start today, uh, we're not going to get there in the future. The emergency department is always there. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Lots of people come through us, and especially now with the emergency care crisis, we've got people in our departments for a very long time. So we are a place where there is quite a lot of burden and where there's a lot of carbon footprint coming from that. The Green ED programme came about after we'd formed the Environmental Special Interest Group. Um, and we, we created a new committee a few years ago now to look at um, the environmental footprint of emergency medicine. The, the answer to us seemed obvious to get a team of clinicians together, form a committee, see what they thought, and out of their enthusiasm came the Green ED initiative, which was a way of benchmarking good practice, if you like, in environmentalism and, and working on areas of reducing the, the carbon footprint. This is probably a key milestone over the last four years, um, and we're, we're yeah, excited to launch the framework and partner with our members. We looked for specific actions that you could take as an emergency medicine practitioner uh, to change your practice or to change things, you know, under your control. You know, the framework itself is about taking one action at a time. It's clinician-led. Our goal with the Green ED is that in, you know, 15, 20 years' time, if you're a gold standard Green ED, then you will be a net zero ED, and that's, that's what we want to achieve. At Preston Hospital, we're one of the pilot sites for the Green ED project. So that ran over the course of May to December 2022, where we took the framework that the Green ED project had developed and we tried to embed that into our practice. And we developed a group of about 30 people ranging across the department, so not just doctors, it included our nurses, our consultants, our healthcare assistants, our domestics, um, our admin staff, all trying to feed into this idea of sustainability and how we could improve our department. We found that to be a really positive experience. Um, we managed to embed some real sustainable change. We got a lot of enthusiasm on the shop floor. And then I wanted to continue to work with the team to see how we can carry on that work and spread it out nationally. I, I know that a lot of my colleagues out there are wondering what they can do and actually I think their hearts and minds are there, they want to do something but they just don't know what to do in, in the healthcare system. So I think the key thing that we've been able to do in over the last year specifically is show them that you can make small changes in your practice and to become more environmentally sustainable and you can do that on top of the emergency care crisis that we're experiencing. At the college we really try and mirror the sort of can-do attitude of our members. Um, they display that in their everyday life on the front line and we try to mimic that very much. So the leadership team here are all excited. I do have a message for our membership. Those doctors and other health professionals working in emergency departments, we know how hard pressed you are, but we're taking the environment seriously as part of the many things we do here at the college and we know it's important to you. So please do get behind the Green Emergency Department initiative. It's coming your way very soon. You can sign up easily and it's going to be a great success we know, so be one of the trailblazers. Ultimately we're doing this for the next generation in the hope that they can build on what we achieve through the Green ED project.